Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Dirty Bomb post-commentary gameplay on objective mode. This time we're playing on bridge, which is one of my favorite maps, especially as defenders, which we are playing right now. It's a very beautifully and very easy to defend map. Even though I think I'm gonna be eating my words, because I don't think we've held that first objective very, very long. Trying to get a little bit of practice in there. I tried to like do my usual route and then I remember I probably shouldn't do that. If somebody from the other team sees me doing that, they already know my game plan. So I'm just gonna try to run for that spawn point. First, don't let them get the EV to the GH building. Then defend the research lab. So very important on this map, that first objective. It's the best one you can hold. That and the last one. And the second one. Actually, I think as defender on this map, you have a very, very easy time. Even if one of your objective gets killed. So, we're putting a bomb there, right in the corner, where they can't see it. And putting another here, when they come in and that they try to hide around that corner, what they do very often. I look over at that thing, see there are people in there, bring a warning shot, at the same time tell them over voice so they notice what's going on. And then very unsuccessfully try to snipe as proxy with an SMG over that distance. Yeah, that doesn't work very well. And I try to get maybe up on the bridge and that was terrible timing as that guy kills my mine and I walk by. And I think this is about the time when we lose control over uh, the first objective point. I run in there, kill that bushwhacker, get the other guy maybe down with a pistol, yep. Put down the mine again, I walked back and wait, no, no, this wasn't the point where we lost yet. See, this is a, a gameplay recording from yesterday, so I don't quite recall. Hide in here from the airstrike. Uh, see that there's somebody coming in, so I try to get the kill on them. Go back and notice, oh my god, their entire team is here. And this was the point where we lost that first objective. I still try run here from the side so I can get a better angle but uh, yeah it doesn't really work I try to kill that uh, sparks which who wasn't the one repairing at least take someone with me uh, as I die and now it's time to go for that second objective build up that uh, barricade and then fortify that room and just camp in there because that is the uh, that's basically what you gotta do. EV repaired. And that red trash can over there always gets me. Uh, no, that red van over there always gets me excited. That I think that's an enemy I can shoot. Gets me every time when I peek into that corner. And now there's no more chasing after that EV because now it's time to go back into that room. I'm gonna take the back route here so I don't get exposed to enemy fire. And now starts a long, long attrition inside this room uh, in which we can run down that clock and just stop them from getting any further. Now I want you to Pay attention to how often I check my bag and how often there's just nobody there. And just keep that in mind. <clears throat> keep it that way. Those two mines are placed very strategically. The one is behind uh, that generator because that's where people crouch so they can't get shot from above. And the other one is behind that door. The other one is behind that door so they... Uh, even if they try to back up because they see that other mine, they still walk into that one. 
The one next to the generator is still the most important one, but if you can, always put an another one next to that uh, next to that door entrance, so you have coverage from all sides. And now for the surprise attack, because I didn't see him when I was looking back, and I looked was looking back there even fewer times as time went on, because just never anything happening there. My team gets killed, I make a jump over there, try to get somebody else up, trying to evade that thing. Somebody gets up, still killing them. And then I think my friend, as I try to help this guy up, gets killed. Or not. No, that was later on. Anyway, as you can see, both those mines went off. And I try to put another one down and we can now see the very terrible bounding box of this... Uh, what do you even call that in English? That railing? Yes, that railing. That might not have put down already put into use as somebody else walks into it. And you can just keep doing this, placing it down there. <clears throat> also very nice work of Kira of uh, putting that uh, ammo station up here, which is incredibly useful. Some terrible aim. <laughs> now I try to get back in there, check on that bushwhacker because I didn't see him go down and I wasn't paying attention to those uh, kill messages on the top. So I'm gonna see what happened to him. See, okay, he's not here, so I guess he's dead. Go in there and catch it just in time to see our defense just fall down. My friends are dead, I don't notice it yet because I'm trying to finish that guy off. Our own guy gets finished off and now YOLO swag attack. <laughs> and we lost this point. We're still trying, uh, I'm still trying to get it back but there's not much you can do, especially if they have good players on their team. Running in there, I'm trying to get a mine near there, trying to shoot it so I can get blow up that turret and that bushwhacker with it, but I miss every shot of that. I'm trying one last time, but at this point there's just too many people in there, so that's not much of a point of trying to get back in there. Also, their explosion is running out. I'm trying to maybe get a sneak attack from the back, put down some mines, hoping I walk into them, forgetting that it takes a little while of, for them to set up, so no dice. And now it's time to defend the route, going down to the last leg of their objective. And for that intent, I am... Um, what was I trying to do? Yeah, stop them from repairing first. Because Derry V is down at the moment. I hit a turret and then notice it's just one of our guys putting a turret up there. Put a mine there so they can't repair or just not that easily anyway. <clears throat> do some fancy acrobatics, jump up there, get the kills. But that Dr. Yellow Swag still kills me and I hate his name with a vengeance but he is very good so I don't I can't actually say anything about that and I walk into their entire enemy team and at this point I realize okay stop pushing they got their EV back up and look at this. That dog is really good with the shotgun. I am terrible with shotgun.
And that's also why I use proxy with a SMG loadout, because I can hit for shade with a shotgun. Well, I might try. Maybe I'll record some videos in the future with me trying the uh, shotgun loadout, but it's not my favorite. I'm more of a spray and pray kind of guy. I put a m mine down back there for the future, because as that uh, EV gets closer over here, they're gonna be crouching behind it and into that corner trying to defend. What that guy was doing up there and not ducking, I have no idea. So, it's about about at this point where we try to... <clears throat> where that mine comes into play because they're gonna be crouching behind there. As their entire enemy team is there. Put another mine, explodify it so they can't repair. Put another mine down, give him and get kill ourselves. And as you can see, that mine already going into action. I think that's actually the first revenge I got on that uh, yellow swag doctor. This is a perfect place to get a DB down, because at this point you can hide behind that wall, you can place mines back down in there. And it's just all around very beautiful and satisfying, as you can see. You put a mine down and they just run into it. Yeah, making a run for the turret, so hopefully she gets killed, but somebody else killed her already. So we're getting back behind that corner of the wall here. <clears throat> Stop the repair a little bit. And hide back. Uh, put that mine down. And this is basically... When you get it down at this point, it's perfect. As proxy, you can put down those mines, hide behind either the EV or this corner. And if you have a good team who also thinks the same strategy, you can just hold this point for a very long time. Get that clock run down so they don't have extra time. And again, that yellow swag doctor from behind, but this time the turret gets her. Again, we're putting a mine down back there. <laughs> it even explodes as I die, but no dice on any kills. I'm looking around to see if we have any doctors on our side, but no. And so I decide to revive, get back up there. And I think this is the first time that I actually just walked through that window without getting stuck in it. <laughs> I still gotta practice that jump a little bit. Putting mine down there, so when I walk out of that building, as I'm noticing throughout the match that I just keep pouring out of there instead of coming from the main entrance. And I see, I put the mine, mine down and just shoot it, kill myself in the same time, but I still get those two kills with that mine, so it's worth it basically. Without those 30 seconds, and I think they even still get it because uh, nobody, no one of us has that. Yeah, I'm even trying to go as RT, get that artillery down there, but you just don't get a good angle from down there. And so it's now time for the third objective. They've got the objective. I'm changing my. It's also something really strange that like the knife it works as proxy you can just knife people while standing but as RT you have to, with the same knife you have to crouch down to kill them which is which I find very strange. Anyway, I hear that there's uh, objective returned so I think maybe I should go defend the strip which is an ammo around here and then do the best we can do. I don't like RT. It's like my backup class if we need artillery or ammo desperately. But other than that, I'm gonna be switching back to proxy right after I die. <clears throat> get the kill there and then I get cocky, try to revive her and bam. That wasn't very nice.
Anyway, as you can see, we're switching back to proxy, going back in there and planting some mines now. And here we see this guy very quickly going in there. I don't chase him because uh, he's either gonna run into resistance inside there, so not gonna worry about that. And now, even though it's very, very obvious, uh, I put a mi mine down on the objective. Most people will catch it and shoot it before, but sometimes if they're in a rush, they will not. And that's uh, gonna get them too. Again, with that yellow swag doctor, gets me again with that shotgun. And thankfully, we have a doctor of our own here who gets me back up. Try to see if I was still somebody alive, but no. Get for the heal, go for the heal, check back because I had some shooting, and now go plant the second mine, which I'm not very sure at this point where the team is going, what way they're trying. So I'm putting it down behind that corner if they're trying to go down a hallway. And next time I'm noticing that that's not where they're going, so I'm putting it on a different place, but at that point the game is basically already over, so. It didn't have very much effect. <laughs> Got a lucky kill from that distance with my SMG. And at this point I notice, wait, that mine is terribly on there. So I place it a little bit better. And if you good, have a good doctor and a good healing thing and a few well-placed mines, you just can keep going in here. As you can see, boom, she was in a rush, they only have one minute left and so they ran right into that mine. I'm very happy about it, as you can see. We haven't been spamming our mines, so we are back up to two. We can go right back in there, place those mines down if we need to. I'm gonna check for a side thing, because I heard uh, they delivered, uh, they got the objective, so I went back in there. See if I could catch him, but I did not. So, back to defending mine there, and now the second defensive place, which is right behind this corner, that I, wait, I'm going for the heal first, and now I'm placing it. As you can see now, very very clearly, they're all coming in from the main door on the side. So I'm going there, placing that mine right behind this corner. Even though the clock is at like 6 seconds, but it still gets a kill. And that's that! We've won this round. This is Sturdy Bomb on Bridge as the defending team. Got a lot of kills on this time and well Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye